Today, we discuss how to scale software development across your organization, something that requires exceptional efficiency without sacrificing quality or performance. So in this video, I will provide insight into our next top trend, platform engineering. If your software development is like most organizations, it takes developers quite some time to come up to speed on your applications. There's probably a lot of duplication of code and functionality as well. Platform engineering aims to prevent this. Platform engineering is the discipline of building and operating self-service internal developer platforms or IDPs for software delivery and lifecycle management. Each platform is a layer created and maintained by a dedicated product team. It's designed to support the needs of software developers by interfacing with the various tools and processes. Now, the goal of platform engineering is to optimize the developer experience and accelerate product team's delivery of customer value. It's not so different from that jumpstart developers get from most great open source projects and the reuse that comes with them. So there are several reasons that platform engineering is trending. First, it's the latest evolution of platform ops, which is the operational practices involved in managing and maintaining a software platform or infrastructure. And it provides a more effective technique to deliver better products faster through shared self-service internal developer platforms. Platform engineering is also very empowering for software engineering teams. When the platform includes everything the developer needs and it presents it in a manner that best fits the developer's workflow, engineers are then able to remain in a productive flow state longer. So first, you need to build the foundation for a platform engineering team by appointing a platform owner and taking an exploratory approach to build the thinnest viable platform. Think NBP. Next, scale your platform engineering capability by making the business case for a dedicated platform engineering team based on the demonstrated benefits who then focus on the evolution of the thinnest viable platform. Make a plan for your own internal developer platforms and make sure you have great developers dedicated to those platforms. These teams will likely have a solid mix of knowledge around design, security, and maintainability. Treat these platforms as a product. Who is the consumer of that product? It's developers. You need to maintain such a platform as you would any product with continuous feedback, improvements, testing, and ideally code contributions. Lastly, don't build a platform in isolation, but make it part of an end user facing product, a real product deliverable. It's a lot easier to address user and developer needs when you're building something for release rather than doing it in a vacuum of assumed requirements. Check back soon for more top trends videos. See you soon.